This is Gus Summers, and you're watching In Show Celebrities. This is the time I take every Monday to talk about some of my favorite films and actors. This week, we have another grand star of Hollywood. He has established himself as a major action star from the 80s and even till today. Of course, I'm talking about the muscles from Brussels, Mr. Jean-Claude Van Damme. This you know, great martial artist came in the early 80s to Hollywood looking for you know, fame and fortune. And, of course, we know he found it. He established himself as a martial artist, someone who was you know, willing to you know, work hard and show how great the art was and how well he represented it. Well, first up, we have the film that launched him into you know, movie star status as an action star and as an international star from Hollywood. The film, Bloodsport. He plays a real life person, Frank Dukes. Uh, he's actually a ninja. And he learned the art from his neighbor, Tanaka. Uh, his, his neighbor caught him trying to steal his sword, his katana sword. And realizing that Frank Dukes was a good boy, started to teach him with his son. And as the story progresses, you see Frank Duke join the, the army, and he gets word that uh, Tanaka is dying. So he goes AWOL to go see his mentor. And what ends up happening is that he realizes that the Tanaka family had gotten an invitation to join the Kumite. And the Kumite is uh, an illegal fight, fighting organization that brings all the best martial artists of the world to come and show who is the best. Well, Takana, not, of course, ill, and his son had passed away when he was a child, it was up to Frank Dukes and he felt he needed to go and represent the family. So he goes AWOL, he goes to the uh, the Far East and presents himself from the clan of Takana. And you know at first they're skeptical, they put him through a, a rigorous test to prove that he truly knows the art of Nujitsu, uh, which he of course passes. And what ends up happening is he begins to uh, become friends with people around. He, he befriends another American who's there, who, uh, who's there on invitation. Uh, he befriends a, a, another young man who becomes his uh, kind of a liaison, his manager. And he also befriends a, a news reporter who's heard about the Kumite and wants know, to know more about it because she wants to write a story. Well, in the midst of all, all these other things, he's being pursued by uh, you know two agents um, uh, chasing him because he is, he's gone AWOL. And of course, one of the agents is Academy Award winner, Mr. Forrest Whitaker. One of his early roles. You know, he still sounds like himself, still looks like himself. You know, it just, uh, it's great to see, you know, these, these, these grand actors in their early films. Well, he goes on, uh, Van Damme, you know, goes on to, you know, begin to, you know, work his way through, uh, you know, the other fighters. And the, uh, there is the champion who begins to dislike Frank Dukes. Uh, his name is Chong Li, portrayed, I guess, again, wonderfully by Bolo Yang. Uh, Bolo Yang is, if, if you're well versed in a, a martial arts film, he's the real big buff guy. You know, he's, um, he always plays the nemesis. Uh, and, you know, he does it so beautifully. And of course, he's the nemesis in Bloodsport. And he begins to, he began to earn the ear, um, uh, the ear of, uh, of, uh, of him because uh, Frank Dukes uh, beat his record for the fastest knockout. So, you know, now, you know, Chung Lee is like, you know, you know, doesn't like, doesn't like Frank Dukes. So now uh, Frank Dukes not only trying to prove that he's a great martial artist, he's evading, you know, all the, the government agents who are constantly chasing him and just prove that, you know, he is from the family uh, Tanaka and his art is really good. You know, again, you know, great, great fight scenes. You know, it is, it is a movie of the 80s, so when you watch it, 
uh, you know, it's, it's a bit of a flashback, but uh, the fight scenes, you know, are, are always wonderful. There, there's a particular fight scene where he's fighting a, a, a kickboxer, and it's a, a, great, a great scene because um, it's, it's by another great martial artist, um, Paulo Takoa, if I remember his last name properly. Um, he's, a, he's a Mai Tai fighter, and, uh, you know, they're, they're fighting like this. And, uh, you know, Van Damme, he tells him, come on, come on. And, and he, he goes to fight and boom, he, he slams Van Damme and, you know, Van Damme, some, you know, they start fighting. But the, the scene I like is that the, he's, he has these great kicks, boom. And then so Van Damme starts kicking him in the same manner, boom. You know, and they start kicking back, back, back. And Van Damme does his thing. He goes, yeah, come on, boom, yeah, boom. And, then, you know, great fight scene. And anyways, you know, the entire film is really great. Uh, you know, for for us uh, for us martial artists that you know really like to see you know some great fight scenes, uh, that's definitely uh, a film to watch. Our next up is uh, I'm bringing you forward a little bit it is um, Van Damme with sci-fi and the martial arts. Of course, I'm talking about Time Cop. You know, he plays a uh, Max Walker and a. a He's a um, agent for uh, the, the, the TEC, the um, Time Enforcement Commission. And what it is is that it's, it's a time machine that's been built that uh, some people use to, you know, manipulate the past for, for, for whatever reasons they want. And he has to go, you know, of course, into the time machine, go back, bring the criminals um, back to, to justice. Well, what happens is that he... Uh, his at that moment the 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 company uh, the company is losing funding, and there's a particular center who wants to shut down uh, the the whole program. And it's uh, his name is Senator McCabe, and he's portrayed wonderfully by uh, Ron Silver. And anyone who remembers Ron Silver, he always had that great ability to uh, get on the audience's bad side. You know he. he the arrogance, the you know, the pride, the way he would you know represent the, the character. You're always like, oh, this guy's got to die. <laughs> Anyways, you know he wants to shut down the program. They're losing funding. Uh, but you realize, you know, as as uh, as the story progresses, that things that had happened to uh, Van Damme's character were actually part of this bigger plot, and he actually escaped being killed in the past. So now that it's, you know, literally 10, 10 years in the future, he's putting these puzzles together. And now he becomes a fugitive because he realizes that Ron Silver's character is using the time machine to gain wealth in the past so to make, uh, so he can have wealth now to make himself president. So now he, you know, he's figuring out the plot. He goes back in time and, you know, trying to stop what happened back then. So he's trying not to have his younger self see his older self. He's trying not to manipulate time too much because, you know, if you manipulate it in the past, it's going to affect you in the future. So, you know, all these little, all these little things, uh, you know, are happening, of course, in the midst of the martial arts, <laughs> you know, the, the great fight scenes. But... You know, again, you know, what I liked about the movie is, you know, what happens if you do have to manipulate something in the past? How's it going to affect you in the future? And for those of you who have seen the movie, know how it ends and know and, and, and know how, you know, just little twists of faith in the past, you know, affect you in the future. You know, it's just, you know, a wonderful little concept. You know, it opens your mind up to think, wow, you know, if I went to the past... And I changed, you know, one little event. We know it's going to, you know, uh, take us in a totally different direction. Should we do it? We may want to do it. But, of course, it would change who we are now. You know, there's no guarantee that we would have memory of, uh, you know, our past. You know, it's a great film to open up your mind to, you know, bigger things. You know, and, of course, again, you know, it's a... This one was in the 90s, so it's a film of the 90s. But, you know, it still holds up well when you watch it. Well, the, this last movie, I'm actually going to bring you all the way forward to today because it's a current film. And I had the uh, opportunity to be uh, on the red carpet 
and attend the uh, have oh, attend the screening, go to the after party. You know, as part of you know what the in show does, and to actually talk, meet Jean Claude Van Damme. And the film is called Pound of Flesh. You you should see the uh, you, the red carpet was wonderful. You should have seen the. Uh, the press and the fans you know everyone went crazy when he walked in he, he was still fit and strong he you know he was smiling and you could just see he was enjoying this moment because this is what it is meant to be uh, to be a movie star it was a movie premiere you know fans were yelling you know he was signing autographs taking pictures you know he was he was um posing with the cast and crew, you know, for the photographers, everyone, you know, just taking uh, pictures, he's waving and smiling, he's doing his kung fu stands, and, you know, he's talking to everybody, you know, people are handing him stuff to take autographs, and he was, and he was talking to, you know, some of the fans, there was a little boy, his parents brought this little boy who, who was there, who wanted to see him, and he talked to the little boy, and, you know, it was great, it was just a fan, you know, and, you know, again, great red carpet you had you know all sorts of guests you had um, Carl Weathers of course remember him as uh, Apollo Creed from Rocky he walked the red carpet and also a uh, good long friend of Jean-Claude uh, was there mr. Charlie Sheen yeah he was uh, he was there uh, you know at the premiere and these are just a, you know a couple of the people who you know attended uh, attended the, the movie but uh, talking about the movie itself Pound of Flesh. You know, he plays a deacon, uh, kind of this, you know, this, this special forces guy who goes to uh, the Far East to help his brother, uh, George, uh, portrayed again by uh, John, uh, John Ralston. Uh, he has a daughter who is sick and needs a kidney transplant. And Van Damme, who's a match, goes to give her one of his kidneys. But what ends up happening is he's in the in the Far East, and many of us, and if you don't know, uh, there ha these uh, illegal operations happen where people get kidnapped, and parts of their liver or their kidneys or what have you is actually taken from them, and uh, you know used, and they're left without uh, you know this body part. That is what happened. That is what happened to Van Damme's character. You know, he, he meets somebody and he and they knock him out. And he, they take his kidney, the kidney he was going to give his his niece, and to give it to someone else. And so now he only has so much time to find out who took his kidney, where it's at, you know, and, and fight his way. So you know, he's recovering from a major operation. You know, he's he's fighting. You know all the bad guys he's trying to gather information he has his brother coming with him he has friends who are helping him along the way uh, so you know he is uh, you know uh, trying to save his his niece so you know it's 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 a great film because it is van damme doing what he does best you know he's He's the caring guy. He's the guy who's trying to make things right. And, you know, if it takes for him to fight, then he will fight. You know, and this is, and this is what the movie, uh, the movie is. It's about him, you know, um, doing what needs to be done. I don't want to give too much away because it's in theaters now and you can go see it. And, uh, but again, great fight scenes. Uh, oh, uh I did want to mention the fight scenes they were choreographed by another great martial artist Donnie Yen uh, you know him from so many uh, martial arts movies he's a huge you know world actor worldwide actor you know fantastic uh, again another great martial artist he's the one who choreographed uh, many of these fight scenes and let me sign off by saying with this one last word epic how can I not mention one of his most iconic moves to date his splits on the Volvo trucks the entire world now knows how truly great this action star this martial artist truly is of course forever he will be known as being epic well that's what I got for you today uh, the films we talked about, of course, were, you know, Bloodsport, uh, uh, Time Cop, and uh, 
Pound the Flesh, which is in theaters now. And, uh, you know, definitely, definitely worth seeing, uh, you know, revisiting those movies and seeing Pound the Flesh now. Well, that's what I got for you today. Well, this is Gus Summers, and you've been watching In Show Celebrities. And this is the time I take every Monday to talk about some of my favorite films and actors. And, of course, you know, remember, don't forget to uh, visit theinshow.com every Thursday from 1 to 2 p.m. where I host The In Show. And that's where I bring in celebrities and all sorts of guests to talk about the, you know, their projects and uh, you know whatever it is that they want to uh, talk about. Of course, be sure to visit us on uh, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Flickr, uh, Instagram, all those great social media sites. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, Gus has left the building.